Emma, the term victim support, can you, can you in a nutshell describe what does that mean? Victim support, it's an organisation that is there for victims and witnesses of crime and um, we're there to support them in whether that's practically, emotionally, but actually to help them to work through maybe what's happened to them and look at how to possibly move forward. In support we, we do lots of different levels of crime and that can be from um, burglary up to um, murder manslaughter, the homicide service that we have. Um, what would generally happen is um, I would say predominantly our referrals come via the police. They can come from other organisations but it's with the victim's consent and then we would make contact, our victim care unit would make contact with each victim to assess their needs and actually look to see how victim support um, can actually help them. Um, often with that, that will require a volunteer who will make contact with the individual and look at how we can support them practically, emotionally, for as long as is needed. Uh, victim support were in the news recently when, the, when the, um, the murder trial of the mother who killed her three three children in Edinburgh and outside court afterwards a statement from the, from the bereaved husband was read out by victim support. Is that quite a common thing for victim support to do? Um, I think we, we have, I mean we're slightly separate to Scotland, um, we're England and Wales are victim support which is slightly different. Um, victim support can help in a number of ways, particularly with um, homicide cases they would uh, be issued a caseworker who would work in conjunction with um, the FLO, the Family Liaison Officer, and who's doing the investigation, and therefore we'll be supporting them again emotionally, looking at their needs, how we can help maybe with um, the funeral, getting them in touch with the right people, and explaining the process to them. Um, obviously after a, a murder, uh, people are very traumatised, and it may be that we would get them um, in contact with trauma counselling to help there, but really we're there for as long as is needed. I, I get the feeling that an organisation depends on volunteers. Absolutely. Especially in the area of the key to yeah, yeah. key to our organisation. If somebody's into what what, what training is, is is do people have to take on? What what happens if you want to volunteer? It is a really interesting, I mean I've been a volunteer myself, so um, part of the process is we are looking for sort of key skills, good listening skills, uh, empathy skills, support. Um, practical skills. A lot of um, our training, I mean it initially start with an interview and we would ask for references, have a CRB enhanced check um, and then if they're successful and all of the references and things come back and they're okay, we would then put them onto our core training which is quite an in-depth five-day core training um, course and then after that they would then have a professional discussion and observation of practice um, and then if everything's okay and we're happy, then um, they would start their, start their work with us. So are you really looking for people who aren't working or are retired? No, not at all. We have a real mixture um, of, of volunteers who work for us. We have some who work, some who are retired, some who do part-time working from all sectors of the community and that's really vital to our service. It's one of the key skills that you use there, listening. Absolutely, yeah. Key, key skill because active listening um, is so important because everybody's lives are very hectic, very dif difficult and it doesn't happen a lot active listening so that's so key to our role and our work because hopefully that enables the victim to feel really heard and that they can explain what actually is happening for them, what's going on for them, what their needs are and also look at options for them and choices as to maybe how we can help. Do you go along with victims to court? We do, we have the witness uh, service um, which is another strand of, of victim support where we have fantastic volunteers who are based in the courts and they can um, be in contact with um, witnesses and victims before the trial date and they can take them round for a pre-trial visit just to make it a little less daunting for anybody who's going through the court and the criminal justice process. Um, and they can look at um, maybe sitting with them if they're really nervous, they're there for them on the day 
and provide that much needed support. What type of feedback do you get from people who, who come on board with victim support, uh, who, who, who work with you? Uh, they must get great job satisfaction. Oh, absolutely. I think it's, um, I mean, I think it's a great job. As I say, I've been a volunteer and I know how much it means to a lot of people. Um, people have families, um, but there gets to a point that sometimes they need somebody else who's actually totally separate, where they can talk to in complete confidence and you know just be how they need to be whether that's you know tearful whether that's angry whatever to actually express those emotions in a very safe and comfortable environment. Any specific projects that you're working on? Um, well we're just setting up a brand new project for victims of antisocial behaviour which is very much in the media um, and it is an area where we, we don't get funding from uh, the Ministry of Justice to provide that as it's actually, it comes across as being non-crimed but we're aware of how much it greatly affects um, people in their communities and particularly in Thurrock we're just setting up this project um, in conjunction with um, the Tharrock Community Safety Partnership um, and so really we're looking for volunteers who would like to come and help people in their local community and do some really worthwhile um, volunteering and that would be fantastic if we can get some people who are really interested in that and we'd be, like to hear from them.